Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I edit my Instagram photos. This video was pretty highly requested actually over the past few months, so I thought that I would do this for you guys. If the quality or the lighting or whatever of my filming looks a little bit different, that's because I'm trying out some different settings on my camera and I also tried out a different lighting setup. I don't really know how it looks, nor do I know if I like it or not. So um, this is just a tester video for my settings and new lighting and we will see and go from there. But anyway, if you're not already subscribed, make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below and click the little bell next to it so you can get notified whenever I upload new videos. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. I also was thinking of doing an updated what's on my iPhone because that was kind of requested too from quite a few people. So if you guys want to see that, make sure you give this video a thumbs up so that I know to do an updated what's on my iPhone. So without further ado, let's just get right on into how I edit my Instagram photos. Okay, so I'm going to do a screen recording on my phone so you can see what I'm doing to edit a photo. So I'm going to move over a little bit in a couple seconds so I'm gonna put like the phone on the screen for you guys so to edit my Instagram photos I don't really do that much to it like it's actually a pretty quick process and I just use VSCO cam and or is it visco visco but yeah I just use that and that's pretty much all that I do for my photos for Instagram let's just edit a photo and I'll walk you guys through on my phone what I do to edit my Instagram photos okay so what I'm gonna do is go into visco which is this app right here and then in the top right hand corner you have have like a little plus sign thing and that's how you add the photos to it but I'm gonna edit this photo right here I just pulled this one in a little bit earlier so I could show you guys and then this little thing with the two lines and then the dots on it that's what you're gonna click on and then you're gonna click on that again so basically all that I do is work in this I don't use any filters on it I don't really do much to the photo like I said so what I do is I go into exposure and I bring exposure up to about one then I go into contrast and I take that down to one so I do negative for that and then I kind of like I move it around to fit the photo so like for this picture once I'm finished editing it I'll go in and fix it to how I like it and then I usually sharpen it maybe to five it just depends on the picture and how much clarity is in the photo then I always go into saturation and I saturate that at one as well then I go into highlights and I put that at plus five and then not temperature sometimes I go into shadows and I pull that up maybe two one or two it just depends on the picture and then I go into fade and I fade it up to two and then I press save and I like to see the difference in it so that one looks really good to me and it looks a little bit dark and a little bit too much of the contrast so I might pull that up a little bit like to eight or something just so that the picture looks how I like it then I'll save it and see if that changed it a little bit for me and maybe I'll bring up the exposure on this one a little bit and so that's basically all that I do to edit my photos it's super super simple and I just use visco for it and like I said I just go by the photo and I just do it to fit the photo so if the picture's a little bit darker I'll bring up the exposure if the picture's a little bit too bright I'll take down the exposure I always like to put up a little bit of saturation so that it's more tanned looking and it doesn't look super pale and washed out the fading is like the main thing that is the main theme of my Instagram so the fade I always make sure to fade my pictures and some of the pictures can look really unfaded so I might bring up the fade a lot but like you can see right there the fade just comes up so much so I don't really bring up fade too much I used to take it up to like five but I've started to bring it down to two because I don't like it to be too overly faded but I think it looks really good and just really rusticy if you put a little bit of fade on it so that's pretty much all that I do to edit my Instagram photos like I said it's super super easy so definitely check out visco if you're into editing photos and you want to be able to edit your Instagram photos but in an easy way because visco is super easy to use and it has a lot of different filters this isn't sponsored by visco at all but that's what I use to edit my photos definitely make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell so you can get notified whenever I upload new videos give this video a thumbs up like I said in the beginning if you want to see an updated what's on my iPhone thank you so so much for watching I hope that you enjoyed this video I hope that this helped you guys with maybe editing your Instagram photos and yeah like like I said, super easy, super simple. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.